Today we will be assembling the Heston Outdoor Grilling Cart. It is strongly recommended that an authorized servicer or installation company perform this procedure. Some of the tools you may need for this assembly are eye goggles or safety glasses, a face mask, work gloves, electric screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, 3 8 wrench, and 7 16 wrench, or a socket wrench. Remove the cart from the box and off the pallet onto the floor. Turn over onto its back in order to install the casters. Make sure to protect the back surface of the cart when tilting it on its back, either by using a blanket or piece of cardboard. Apply them to the base of the cart and secure them with the fasteners and a socket wrench. Please note that two of the casters have brakes and two do not. Make sure that the two with the brakes are mounted on the front. Return cart to an upright position and feel free to move the cart to make sure they are securely attached. On the inside of the cart, you will see two bolts where the electrical box will be located. Secure the bolts using a screwdriver on one side and a wrench on the other to remove the fastener. Feed the cord through the square at the back of the cart. Next, attach the electrical box to the back wall using the bolts and reattaching the fasteners, once again using the wrench and screwdriver. Remove the protective film where the grill head will be. The remainder of the protective covering will be removed at the end to avoid scratching or damaging the stainless steel. Next, remove the grill head from the box. The grill head will be attached to the pallet and will need to have the screws removed before lifting. With two people, lift the grill head onto the cart. Lift only from the sides, do not lift by the handle. Making sure sides and back are completely aligned. To get access inside the cart, remove the knobs from the front panel. Remove all screws from the corners of the panel and gently rest it downward as wires are attached. Placing a cloth on the doors will help with added support and prevent any damage. Install the bolts, top and bottom, to secure the grill head to the cart. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Repeat for the other side of the cart. Next, remove the back panel of the cart by removing all four corners and set aside. Here we will secure the grill head to the cart by feeding the nut and bolt with your hand into the hole, connecting the two and tightening it with a wrench. Do this on both sides and be careful of a tight fit. Reach inside the cart and attach the connectors from the grill to the electrical box. It's important to make sure no wires are touching any parts of the grill that can get hot. Apply thread sealant to the threads of the pipe and hand feed the fitting onto the threads. Then tighten with a wrench to secure in place. Attach the hose flare fitting and tighten with a wrench.
as seen here, no thread sealant is necessary. Slide out the tank tray and install the propane tank provided by the customer. Be sure to tighten the tank retention bolt to make sure it's secure and slide back into the cart. Leak testing is the most important part of your installation. Follow the procedure in the installation manual. Do not connect the grill to power. Do not smoke or have any open flames nearby. Open the tank valve so gas can flow into the manifold and other gas carrying components. Use a leak detection solution available at any hardware store or make your own solution by mixing one part liquid dish soap and one part water. Apply the solution with a brush or a sponge on every connection as seen here, including the hose itself. Check for bubbles which would indicate a leak. If you find a leak, close the gas valve and tighten the fitting or connection as needed. Open the tank valve again and check for leaks. Do this on every gas connection, everywhere, to assure you have no leaks. If you cannot stop a leak, please make a note of the location or take a photo and contact Heston service. Do not use the grill if you cannot stop a leak. Once the test is complete and there are no signs of leaks, wipe off the remaining solution with a cloth. Double check that all connections are attached and reconnect the front panel to the grill. The back panel can also be reattached to the cart at this time. Make sure the drip tray is also back in place and reattach the knobs back onto the front of the grill panel. Once all items are in place, plug in the grill, make sure the tank has been opened and test out the trellis, sear and rotisserie burners. After testing, the inner grill components can be installed. Place the briquette trays over the trellis burners and grates on top of both the trellis and sear burners. Please note that briquette trays do not get placed over the sear burner. Finally, place the warming rack grate on the back below the rotisserie burner. The last installation is the side shelves. Connect the front of the shelf on the front pin and connect the back of the shelf by threading the bolt through the hole and tightening with a wrench. Once installed, you can lift the shelf up and out to lower it or you can keep it raised. Follow the same instructions for the other side and your Heston Outdoor Grill and Cart are complete.